Hello, friends and neighbors. Time to answer some pressing questions. So what am I doing? Nice hey, you what am I doing? Come on! Really Thanks for joining me. What are you filming for? How bad are your eyes? Bad. Any chance of a song in the somewhat near future? I'm actually planning on writing one for the Fizzy Olympics. Stay tuned. What do you think about the Chronicles of Narnia? I think the early books are incredibly creative and imaginative. I think the later books are entirely too preachy. What is your all-time favorite episode of Star Trek, any series, and why? I think my favorite episode is All Good Things, the final episode of The Next Generation, because it involves time travel and it ends up the series nicely. If you were given an unlimited budget and total creative control, what previously unadapted book would you make into a movie? There's a Boy in the Girl's Bathroom by Lewis Sackar. Favorite candy? I like Skittles, I like Starburst, I like Butterfingers, I like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I can't pick a favorite between the four. What's your favorite band piece that you've played to date? I've played a lot of them, but I think my favorite would either be Gustav Holst's First Suite in E-flat or Eric Whitaker's October. Worst book you have for some reason read all of? New Moon by Stephanie Meyer. Would you consider yourself more of a book nerd or a band nerd? Three years ago I would have said band nerd. Now, book nerd, no question. Favorite holiday? Halloween. Is Vlog Driver dead? No, no, it's resting. What's the worst movie you've ever seen? Epic movie. Doctor Who? Uh, doesn't he play first base? Favorite stand-up comedian? Either Bill Cosby or Jim Gaffigan. Favorite Monty Python sketch? Them days we're glad to have the price of a cup of tea. All right, a cup of cold tea. Huh? Without milk or sugar. Or tea. Favorite fairy tale? East of the sun, west of the moon. What's your opinion on e-readers? I think they're great and it's entirely possible that I'll own one one day, but the nostalgic fuddy-duddy side of me really doesn't want to give up his paper books. What do you think is the most important thing to do during NaNoWriMo, other than write? No one to step away from the story for a while. Sometimes you'll come up against a wall and the only thing to do is just walk away for a few hours and do something else and then come back to it fresh. What is your favorite word? Well, I'm quite fond of the word ubiquitous, as many of you know, but I'm also fond of a new word that I just learned recently, demonic. Look it up. What is your opinion of all the movie adaptations of fantasy books trying to cash in on Harry Potter's success? I can't blame them for wanting to make money, but I think if they want to make a successful movie, they should probably come up with an original idea and not try to cash in on somebody else's. Are you a Mel Brooks fan? Uh, yeah, yeah I am. What is your least favorite genre? Inspirational fiction. Favorite Harry Potter character? Sally Ann Perks. No, for serious, little love good. I mean, come on. How old are you? 26. Is C.S. Lewis anywhere on your favorites list? No, sorry. What initially sparked the idea for the favorites list? I honestly can't remember. I think I just wanted to reread some of my favorite books and then I decided to make a project out of it. Just kind of how my brain works. You're trapped in a Disney movie for the rest of your life. Which one is it? Candleshoe. Waffles or pancakes? Waffles. Could you wear all of your hats for the rest of the Q&A? Yeah, sure. What was your first NaNoWriMo novel about? It was basically a poorly done ripoff of The Matrix, which is best forgotten. What inspired you to write Last Places? I saw an old friend in a bookstore that I hadn't seen in a while, and as often happens in my rather morbid mind, the question occurred to me, what if this was the last time I saw this person? Do you only review novels or will you review short stories? I will review any story that captures my interest. If there was a film you could remake in your own way, what would it be? The Little Mermaid. Will you ever be uploading to Vlogdriver again? Yeah, probably someday. If you had to choose one literary world to live in, like the Harry Potter world, what would it be? Either Lands Beyond from the Phantom Toll Booth because it's friggin' awesome, or Fantastica from the Never Ending Story because then I could let my imagination roam free. Do you ever plan on doing reviews of the Percy Jackson books? Yes, I do. And finally, what is your favorite country? Canada. And that's all the questions and all the hats that I have time for today, so until next time, this is Matt Guyne reminding you to... You know what, I don't have a creative sign-off right now, so... Take care. <laughs>